tarot reading for the collection. If you feel my vibe, please hit subscribe and join the Futuristic Mystic Star Tribe. I'm Pam. We're going to pull out of what's the vibe? What's the vibe floating around the collective? Oh, it's a divine masculine energy floating around the collective like a little spirit going zzz, zzz. <laughs> So, so authority, discipline, father figure. So somebody knows that maybe you have a divine masculine energy, father figure that protects and watches over you and they help you to stay disciplined. Or there's a divine masculine coming, trying to come around you women's out here. Or maybe you're a divine masculine watching me. We'll hit like. <laughs> What's the vibe? Healing, healing. You're healing. You're you're helping to heal a father figure through your practice. Or or you this this man needs to meditate and take care of theirself. So get up, take care of your body today. Get up, and take a shower, and then sit down and groom yourself and maybe you'll feel better okay groom yourself. <laughs> groom yourself groom yourself for your feelings so what's going on in the collective what's going on in the collective look masculine energy and feminine energy healing that's amazing you better hit like that don't come out in everybody's readings <laughs> so that's what's taking place at the moment so you're healing Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. You, you. I guess you're like both a person of authority and a mother figure. And you, you, you know when to take care of yourself and how to take care of yourself. You both know how to take care of each other. Oh, you're going to get a glow up. You're going to get a glow up because epiphany. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Answer questions, okay? You're going to get a, a you're, the, you, you have a successful business. And there's a new opportunity around for you, Divine Filming them, I guess. Divine Masculine. Okay. Oh, maybe you thought this was just never going to happen. This was wishful thinking. But maybe this is your second chance. This is your second chance to show that you've healed. You've healed your divine masculine that taking authority, executing your plans, and that divine feminine, that mother nurturing gentleness. Oh, that's amazing. He liked like that. He liked like that. I thank you and I appreciate it. Legal epiphany. So maybe. Maybe. Oh, it says silping the tea karmics sipping on the tea gossiping and being nosy as hell oh they're nosy as hell worried about court and lawyers and all this sitchy stuff oh somebody's sipping the tea they're nosy as hell wondering now if you're going to take this karmic third party haters that you learned all these lessons with the courts oh well, I mean, when you go sipping the tea and you 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 have these dirty little sex flings, it always comes out. So I mean, I'm not worried about it. Somebody's worried about that in the collective. Well, I mean, you can be gossiping all that, but when most of the time the gossip nosy rumor shit stirs, they're the ones that are cheats. Okay, see see people people that smart know that. Okay. Oh, and somebody is over your head, overextended and rock bottom. So these karmics, they see your glow up and they've hit rock bottom and they know that you, divine masculine and divine feminine, you have filled masculine energy and feminine hit energy. You help to heal either one. So there's, there's women that follow you and, and women that follow you and they know that this maybe you give your masculine a second chance okay and these karmics that's just they've burnt their bridges they ain't nothing else for them to build they're just karmic okay they're puzzled puzzled confused perplexed perplexed and conflicted conflicted in the mind don't know what to do don't know what to do 
don't know what to do and somebody might be if you're feeling distance from a person at the moment well that's a karmic in your life and they, they'll distance their self from you and they'll, they'll shut down and it's really just like a friendship when it gets to that and you're not speaking anything of love or anything and they distance their self from you and like you all stay in separate rooms and stuff well you, you might as well divorce each other how hard is that it's hard for some people it's hard for some okay but we're going with that good energy apart now let me get something else okay i had to tell the karmics a message okay <laughs> what else okay what else for the cold liquor? Well, let me pull out these first. Let me pull out these first, okay? What for masculine energy? Father figure this one. Oh, stubbornness, stubbornness. Stubborn, stubborn. Somebody's been arrogant towards you. Maybe, maybe a father figure is arrogant towards you at the moment. I don't know some man in your life i don't know collective they don't want you to keep persevering but you keep taking care of yourself okay and um you've you've endured a a, a challenge okay you've endured this challenge and there, there will always be obstacles along the way that you're gonna have to figure out how to get out of okay just persevere just keep doing what you're doing okay see <laughs> feminine said okay okay i realize i bring stability harmony and acceptance so you've accepted yourself you learn to be gentle with yourself and realize that everything's okay you can't wake up all these stubborn people there's no use to to, to worry about it either they'll realize it and get with the program or not okay but you're healing okay so accept it. Accept that you're a good mothering, loving mother energy, okay? And merit making, you, you're you getting a glow up. And this is a new, this is your new career. This is your successful business. And this is humanness. You, you, you're just, you show what pure humanness is. That's all through your healing practice, okay? And wishful thinking, deja vu, second chance. Maybe this is just a memory. Somebody wants a reunion with you. That's all it is. They're, they're wanting to make something up to you, okay? Because they know that their stubborn ass didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to find a peaceful resolution. They didn't. And that's why. That, that pulled out under that wishful thinking memories okay so they might be thinking about times in the past when when they should have took care of themselves more okay but now memory oh hear what the memory is oh somebody wants to uh, ask for your forgiveness about endorsement so somebody got somebody got bribed in, into temptation okay somebody was bribed into temptation okay and they uh i i don't know if you're gonna give them a second chance when you find out this because it keeps it keeps coming out so it has to be true Maybe they give somebody else an offer and the stubborn ice didn't tell you about it, okay? But it's coming out. Whatever it is, it's coming out. <laughs> All right, now let's see what else I can get out with this. Let's see. Hang on, let me do these first. I want to pull some of these out so it's out. So masculine, that might be stubborn, a father figure. They, well, they know that you, your spirit is evolving, okay? This is actioning of plans, transcendence. Looks like bulls in the background. And stubborn as a bull. Stubbornness was above that and bulls in the background. So, I mean, 
this stubborn person has got to realize if they're if they're on the bandwagon with you, they got to activate whoever this mask one is. They're realizing this, and somebody might be having a moolish attitude because your light codes has activated, and maybe theirs hasn't, but you can't help it. You're just evolving, okay? And you're healing. You're healing from endurance. But <laughs> we have true my cards. Is a, it says right here, don't it? It says endearment. It says endearment in the middle right there. And this says endurance. Like a rock, I was strong as I could be. Like a rock, nothing ever got to me. Ooh. Maybe you are activating a new light code by planting something by by you planting a new tree i just planted a new little cactus <laughs> i planted it inside of a cough uh one of them big old white soup mugs that i got from the stockyard when i used to work and i planted it in that the other day <laughs> a little one i thought it was cute i'll show it to you maybe okay here's my orchid ain't it pretty I need to give it some water today. I need to give it some water today. Voice speaking your word with your voice. 25, huh? 20, 25, huh? 19, 20, 25. So maybe you are remembering a time in 1920 or 1925. That's amazing. That's a long time ago. Okay, that's why you keep getting this, uh, uh, what is that, like when you see something and then you're like, I've, I've done this before, like that deja vu shit, you're, you're dreaming of something in 1920 and 1925 and that's why you're going to endure this, you're, you're, you're going to persevere and get through this challenge, okay, your voice is Sturdy, stability, God is almighty, whatever it is, it's just amazing. 2025, it says. <laughs> 28, soul family. Happy reunion, support, order from chaos. Well, so maybe um, somebody was bribed to, to try to get you and your memory about a time when they got paid money, okay? from coming over to you this stubborn person and they got they got uh they got a deal they got a deal to try to get you to i guess th they're wanting you to think about them and say their name and i'm not doing that that little bitty song that's the only thing that you got ma'am she knows who it is she knows who that is right there at ma'am that that song was about yeah so maybe somebody's thinking about having a family reunion somebody's gonna be bribed to try to take something from you go at that family reunion i'm telling you so if somebody's wanting you to come to the family reunion i believe that um you're you've done evolved okay and and spirit don't want you to go to that because somebody's going to try to steal something from you they was bribed to do it now i know what i'm talking about that's what it said now that's what it said now now, now, brown cow. Oh, it says stubborns is being peer pressured at the moment. Dharma will. So, so your light is activating, and um, maybe you've learned your karmic lessons, okay? And if you're a masculine energy, I mean, you got to take the authority and stay disciplined, and um, by you just being selfless and letting go of that arrogance letting go of the arrogance that's that that keeps on replaying in your mind and don't let no one peer pressure you don't let no one get you out of what you're doing because your spirit has evolved and you're going to get good karma okay and temple of mary 31 1131 and this is emotional expression playful innocence exploitation so I think somebody exploited you in your in your family. See, that's a tree. That's a tree, and it says exploitation. 
somebody's trying to exploit you and your legacy. So when they go around blabbing about it, then I mean, I done told you a, a, a mask one that their birthday was the 20th. I mean, you all have to deal with that. I don't because I'm protected. I'm protected in that bubble. 20 protects me in the bubble because he knows what these people does. So, and you can endure any challenge in your life and maybe you, you have a strong family legacy and be proud of that. These people that go against it, they, they, yes, it doesn't matter who you meet in life, even your twin, your twin flame that everybody gets so caught up on, soulmates. You will still have karma to burn off with them. Yes, you will, you will. And you're gonna know that I was telling the truth, temple. So you're like a stable temple, whoever you are, man or woman, it said. Honey. Daddy. Why me my cigarettes? And lighter. Why me my cigarettes and lighter? Thank you. Okay, so just keep voicing your opinion. It matters to the world. You you speak the word. And Lord Melchizedek. Lord Melchizedek. <laughs> Lord Melchizedek. <laughs> indecision ego-based actions and lifestyle changes well i just think that it's saying that um the lord god someone helped you to change your lifestyle so you could have this new um thank you so you can have this new uh job opportunity okay So you've, you're, you're going to have to change something or you're going to be on that karmic wheel again. Do you want to get on that karmic wheel again? I don't know if you, you all do or not. I don't like karma when I get it. Do you all? <laughs> I don't. So it says 11, 22, I'm on the right path. Somebody who is younger, they exploit, they exploit you and your, and your healing practice. You, you, whoever you're in a relationship, feminine, but you and your mask on, and if you're not together, they, they still exploit you and make fun of whatever you, <clears throat> it is that you do, but they, they don't have no morals. They don't have the moral code, the light activation moral code, this stubborn person. But see, we do. <laughs> Somebody's trying to make you feel confused, and, and they can't, okay? Ascension flame, liberation, a sense of greater purpose, high expectations of the reaper. So your soul family... It says 28 and 4. So maybe somebody's birthday's 428. Or 422 or 420. Or I don't know if April has 31 days or not. But it says 22, 25, 31, 11, 19, 28, 4. If any of them birth dates match, pay attention, okay? It may be uh, God was teaching you to let go of, of, do not let go of your goodness. Somebody was trying to steal your goodness away from you and act like they was Holy Mother Mary. And it's some young girl that, that doesn't realize by her playing and trying to get you to express something emotionally about her that she's just getting karma from the Lord God up above. And that giant crystal in that man's hand and my son give me a giant crystal. I got one. I'm going to put it in here. My oldest son give me that. I'm going to put it in here. Okay. <laughs> So 
So you're going through an ascension, and you, you, you've, you've got a second chance. And don't let these people tempt you off of your soul purpose. They might be somebody in your soul family that knows you have a greater purpose, and they are, they are trying to um, say something to you. But they might be trying to peer pressure you and don't let them peer pressure you. Anyone. Don't let nobody do that. <coughs> now let me see what I can read. What is it this divine masculine needs to face and don't push it away? You need to face all this indecision. So it's a, it's a man that needs to face all this indecision. If you want your light to activate, you can't be stubborn. You actually have to tell what your karmic lesson is. And you have to uh, talk about what you've learned about and how you applied that karmic lesson in your life. And then that way that indecision won't never come to your mind again. But if you don't never speak about it and you keep it hid, it's uh, it, and be stubborn and you push away things that you really need to look at, you're never going to grow. You're, I mean, you're like you're you're always going to be on that karmic wheel. So, you, I mean, you got to face an indecision. It's something about a little cat beside that woman. Some indecision about another woman's cat. They're stubborn now. You got to face. You was, you was deciding on two cats, and you lied about it. Two cats. You lied about it now to two cats. Oh, and they did. And you've been healing. You've been taking. You need to take action and to to resolve this issue so you can heal. So this feminine can heal. Okay, masculine. The only way for that feminine to heal and be good. And her not never pick up on any as shady shit as you to you have to say that you're feeling confused at the moment. You've got another kitty because she doesn't know what if you say confused or anything. She knows what that means. This woman does. Okay, so feminine energy, gentleness, oh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, well here's all the feminine signs, so you'll know. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is all the feminine signs. The masculine signs is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay? So if you've got a man, and if you're a masculine and you're born in a feminine sign, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you're a man and you're born in them feminine signs, you're the one that's needing to heal that. That's why the indecision pulled out under you and the loving, caring mother energy pulled out under the mother. So, I mean, the mother's okay. It's the masculine that ain't okay. Okay? So, hit like you woman's out here. I'm trying to help all of us. <laughs> oh, it says Ocho de Copas. What's that many? Probably eight. Eight of cups. Okay, so somebody wanted you to um, maybe walk away. That's the thing. This man is in indecision if they should walk away from this baby mother that they built a life with. Okay, you can. It's okay. All you gotta do is just tell her it won't. It won't be as scary if you face that. But if you keep pushing it away, she done knows if you've distanced yourself from her, okay? So maybe this is baby this woman is just is good with herself and it's all right if if somebody wants to walk away with her. She's learned her lessons. She'll be okay. You'll be okay. There you are, you'll be okay. All right, memory. Ooh, look, I got two of these wands uh, energies. And um, they don't never take action to. Uh, they don't never take action to remember 
how much they've hurt you time and time again. They need to take action to remember why they hurt you is because they was confused over another kitty. See the cat beside the woman out there on the bench. So, I mean, I can't help it when they get their punishment. Don't get mad at me, woman. I can't help who this is. I can't help. <laughs> oh, Reina de Bastos. So, Queen of Wands. So, somebody somebody was bribed. It's this, It must be an Aries Leo or Sag woman that um, got a second chance to uh, do, do some black magic against you to try to keep you stuck. So you won't walk away. <laughs> it looks like this woman's good with herself. And anytime she wants to walk away, she can and will. And it ain't no magic that you can do against her. Because here it is in the upper eye. And here it is in the not in the, in the not upright position. So either way, she's good with either way. Taking action or not, she, she's good with herself. So this woman got bribed. This woman was bribed to not tell this, whoever his mother is to this man that had, they got kids to not tell that mother with kids. But oh, Aries, Leo, or Sag, they, they're going to realize that little bit of bribe payment money ain't worth it. And they're just going to voice the, their mouth and open up the mouth and tell that wife. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. They're going to, oh, yep, yeah, because look, that masculine knows. So it's masculine knows that, you know, this is a soulmate. This is, this is twin, this is twins, uh, twin flames, maybe if you believe in that. Well, there's stars on this woman's jacket right there. See the stars? And you, you masculine and feminine, you all are, activated at this moment so maybe someone loves you and somebody is wanting you to actualize a plan to come together with them okay and uh, uh, you're transcending your spirits evolving you're realizing that this might have been a karmic soul tie this is a karmic lesson once again. Do you want your true twin or not? That's what it said. Choice is up to you. What else? Healing. Oh, planning, planning, planning. Somebody might be planning a, what, planning on exploiting your family. And when they do that, when they plan on exploiting your family, the funny thing is they think they're going to gain lots of accolades you won't. You're just going to be known as a gossip shit stirrer. That's all they'll be known as, a gossip shit stirrer, okay? Gossip shit stirrer. What else? Okay, what? Oh. Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. Yep. Uh-huh. So, it's like, yes, you, I mean, you're very loving and caring, and you know how to place boundaries with people in your family. That's why it landed on tree. Queen of Swords knows how to do that. So they're trying to exploit you, Queen of Swords. It might be a it might be a Queen of Cups or a King of Cups. It could be a man masking as a woman and they're really a man. And Queen of Swords is like, look, I know you all spy on twin flames, twin flame god relationships. I don't know. Well, you have to because you nosy spies don't really have that. So you got to know who, who actually has that. You got to come steal from them. But there's a lot of green, green royalty around Queen of Swords. Look at all that royalty. You got like royal green eyes. Look, I got green eyes. Royal green and blue. <laughs> well, when are you doing it? I'm ready. Whenever you're ready to do it, you just got to tell me. Oh, six, six of swords. Oh, so it, it looks like someone's twin is planning on telling you the truth that they want a stable life with you. And they want to, the, uh, they miss your playful banter. <laughs> your playful banter. <laughs> playful banter.
Don't feel indecision. Just voice, voice up. Say, I love you, my twin. When are you coming to me, baby? So look at it. That's how you got to do <laughs> And quit feeling it. So uh, maybe you're going to get a, a business offer and you're you're going to you're going to walk away and you're going to this new lifestyle change to be by yourself, okay? Divine feminine or divine masculine? Oh, that what it said. New way, way, day, copas. Oh, your wishes. So you know, somebody might have been trying to to uh, move. Somebody was somebody in your soul family has been moving around to do black magic on on your um, on your dream life, and you know you you have this with. with it doesn't matter what you do in life when you do something and you're good at it. And look at all that light. See all that light that's in them cups? Spirit is going to light up this person in your soul family if they do black magic and throw that black magic on you one more time. Something to do about fire. If they throw that black magic on you one more time, whoever this is that's in, that soul, is that's in your soul family, on your twin flame relationship, whoever it is, Spirit said there's going to be no more second chances. I'm giving them karma. So I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I can only warn you. That's all I can do is only warn you. Oh, it said, oh, yeah, look. Yep, because I, I told you who this Queen of Wands is. Whoever this is fiery, feisty. This is somebody that's feisty and real, really, uh, bold and mad they're mad and angry that you're beautiful and that's why they're tempted they, they are tempted to take some more money payments from whoever this one dickheaded man is that paid them to frick with you from receiving any money payments i guess they don't ever want you to make any money in whatever job you do they got bribed to do all this black magic on you and you're like i know who you are and they're mad and jealous of your beauty. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, you're beautiful. Queen of Cups, you're beautiful. Queen of Wands, you're so beautiful. All of y'all are so beautiful. Quit being jealous of one person and you focus on what you want, okay? Now somebody's about to be heartbroken over a uh, big time. When you find out how much wealth that they've been hoarding up and given to this woman on the side. And that's why they're confused and they, they're perplexed. Well, because you've been paying for pussycat. Pussycat, pussycat, why are you lie? Pussycat, pussycat, going to get fried. Somebody's pussycat's going to get fried, okay? It's coming. And it looks like King of Pentacles and all that money. He, you're going to get fried, King of Pentacles. Your pussy cat's gonna get fried, okay? Your new love that you're wishing for is a new pussy to be brought in on the relationship. Oh, they're they're planning on a threesome. That's why they're confused. They're like, should I tell my person I'm in a relationship with that I've been banging this old smelly cat for years? <laughs> yeah, tell them. Why are you a coward? Coward, why do you come over here to me with your weird eyes, hypocritic shit? Why do you do that? Why do you do that, King of Pentacles? It always shows up. Everybody gets so heartbroken over you. Look, Queen of Swords said you're going to get your punishment. All that wealth you paid that pussy to show them your pussy and to touch your wand. That black magic is coming back. That's coming back on this King of Pentacles. It'd be funny if it said death. <laughs> Whatever their curse is, it's coming back. Oh, swords. So look. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you are conflicted in your mind. Because you, you wanted you wanted somebody trapped. Thinking about your devious shit, but it looks like this is this snake is getting stabbed really good this one last time. 
So Snake is trying to stab them one last time. They want they want that puss one more time now. Just one more time is all they need. Just one more time. Open up wide one more time. But it looks like that there's a devil goat right here behind your head, King of Pentacles. There's a devil goat. And it's waiting to ram. It's waiting to ram you really good. It's going to conflict you, okay? And this looks like somebody at the coffin. Somebody going to the grave. Somebody going to the grave. Oh, whoever's going to the grave doing your black magic. <laughs> You're dumb. You're dumb. Yep, it's a young girl that does it. It's a young, it's a young girl that does it. I done told it, I done got told it was a young cancer that went to the graveyard and was screwing somebody, was screwing somebody on somebody that died at an old Queen of Swords. They was screwing on it. Well, that's weird. Why did that reading tell me that that day? Because it goes with this weird ass shit. That's why. Okay. That's why. This is somebody who's trying to trying to do something. They're trying to attach something into your eyeballs. They're wanting to attach a look to your eyeballs. I don't know why. <laughs> but it looks like, you know, you're balancing your masculine and feminine. They don't know how to take action to do that. And uh, it said you've got a new opportunity coming and it said um You've made amends with people in your family, and, and you know you got to walk away from people who's done you wrong. This person, but you don't want to have a family with this person. Whoever this is, you do need to walk away. You do need to walk away from some person in your life that ain't helping you because they've been... They did black magic on you. Why do you think the magic wands in the upside down beside the magic man? Well, all that means is the magic man's been given. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Memory of something going in the exit hole. Exit hole, that's all I know. Remembering something that went in the exit hole. I don't know. Whatever that meant. Okay. And Sagittarius, whoever you're in a relationship with, they just wanted you to walk away from everybody. They hate your mother that much. They hate your mother so much. They don't want you to have nobody. They don't want you to have a mommy, a daddy, or nobody. And this woman is devious. And she she let some other man put their wand wiener up through her titties like that. She does. So it's man, they've been playing with a younger little princess, letting that prin that princess wet man put his wiener in her titties and rub up and down, rub up and down, okay? Yep, rubbing up and down, rubbing up and down. Oh, and look, that magic, that magic you was doing on that person, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Your magic ain't going to work on this. Uh, it's coming back on your family. Whatever magic you're doing, it's going to come back on your family. Yeah, uh, and they ain't going to be able to um, run away from it. And whoever this is, they're not even pretty. Whoever this is, that they're doing this uh, screwing and doing all this magic so you won't know they paid money to this skank. They're not even beautiful. They know that you was the queen, the empress, and the princess of their lives and of their dreams, and they fucked you over, okay? And this person might put flowers in their hair or some shit. Whoever is young girl is that plays with them on the side, yeah. That's why you ain't got no money. That's why you ain't got no money. You give all your pinnacles to them old sluts, and that's why... That's why you'll never have your twin. You'll always be feeling loss of money and spiritual poverty. You're going to have spiritual poverty for doing that to your twin flame. 
and acting like that you wasn't a karmic. And Queen of Swords is looking at you saying, I know you're a karmic, and that's why you ain't gonna have no money. Your money's gonna be taken. Your money will be taken. Yep, look. And you're not, you're not, you're not fighting with these people. Sagittarius, you're not fighting with nobody. That's good. You're not fighting with no one. That's good. Don't go to that family reunion, it said. Don't go to it. Don't go to the family reunion. El Diablo. Yep, because they somebody that that is in my family and they act like they're a divine masculine or divine feminine and they ain't shit. And um, you know that uh, you don't ever change your lifestyle. Devil Capricorn, that, that thought it would just be smooth sailing and you no. Know, somebody's too focused on what you do. This looks like at a prison, one of them watchtowers. This devil watches you from afar. Queen of Swords, this devil watches you from afar. And and they watch they they watch you. They watch you with this this fucking man devil, whoever this is, they watch you from afar while they're at work. And this devil and whoever they're screwing, I believe they work with that devil. And them weirdos is watching you. Hell, it might be two men that's in love watching you and they're weird fags. <laughs> 4141, sorry, they're weird fags, it said. <laughs> they're weird fags, that's what it said. Oh, they're weird fags. Don't get mad now, collective. I'm not against anybody that's, that's gay or lesbian. I don't care about stuff like that. I just like saying they was a gay fag, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it said, oh, it said, um, So this person was alchemizing a new love while keeping you tied tied to them, whoever this masculine is, and they know that they was giving their love up at work behind your back. But it's funny that little princess, little princess got paid a lot of pinnacles. Oh, yeah, and something about your your family, somebody in your family that's a devil. It looks like a devil Capricorn and a and a uh, Virgo or Gemini and whoever they are, they've they love somebody at the doctor's office. Oh, that's who it is. That's who it is. They love somebody at the doctor's office. Is that what it is? Oh, that's just their new love, they think. They're going to get that new woman at the doctor's office next. Well, that's amazing. Well, go get it. Go get it. Oh, they'd rather be in the bed with the woman at the work office. <laughs> El Mundo. So, you're going to be able to travel. And you're not you're not in your mind over this damn man. It's this one man devil that that at thanks they have twin flames all over the world. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're goofy, whoever you are. You ain't going to have one twin flame. You're going to have nothing but a bunch of people that ain't got shit. That's what you're getting. You're going to get people that ain't got shit. I'm telling you. And you're going to receive your karma. Dun, dun, dun. Karma wheel is coming. It's devil. It's devil did something too. They made love with somebody at the beach. This devil made love with somebody at the beach. They did. And they and then they tried to cause a fucking argument with you. Then they come in trying to argue with you. And you was asleep. See how that man's asleep? You was asleep. Well, shh, shh. They got in their wheels and they went and they got, they made a deal. They made a deal with the devil that day to fuck behind your back and lie. So ever how long that's been, that's how long they've been doing it, okay? Go 
The Kermit. The The Vamas one. Buys a divine mask on that's a millionaire that that is interested in you, divine feminine. Why would you want to stay with a Kermit? I don't. I wouldn't. Oh, stepdad. So maybe divine feminine they this person wants to be um stepdaddy to your young ones. They know you mm -hmm. or they want you They're wanting you, uh, like I said, they want to marry you. They want to be stepdaddy to your kids. And they want you, maybe, if they got kids, they want you to be their their new mommy, their step parent, okay? Oh, uh, and um, Grandpa got his spurs up, it says. I don't know. Something about rooster. Something about cock. Cock in hand. Something about cock in hand. The devil's going to get caught with his cock in his hand. Looking at that person that he's in love with. You're going to catch this devil with his cock in his hand, it said. Yep. And while being seduced by this whore, you're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. You're going to you're going to catch them. I love that. I I would I, that would be amazing to catch somebody doing that, wouldn't it? Well, you're going to. Somebody that listens to me, you better hit like. You're going to catch them playing. You're going to catch them playing, and you're going to know that this devil, this devil hard a priest, a dark a dark priest s to do something to you. They're playing around with. With a snake, they're playing. This this man is a snake. This man is a snake. Mm -hmm. He wants to be step daddy mm -hmm. to the seducer's kids. Well, go be it. Go on, Papa, all whoever you are, go do it. Quit being a pussy. Leave your woman alone. You're jealous because she's got millionaires after her. That'll never come for you. It's only gonna come for her, okay? Because you do dumb shit and you lie. Okay. <laughs> That's what it said. Yeah, and you don't you don't never believe what somebody tells you over and over. If you have a reading, you better believe your fucking reading. If it tells you all the time, I believe the reading. Don't don't believe a human mouth. It can spurt out everything. And whoever at cancer wants readings all the time, you went against my family and you did something bad and dirty and you and the man that's attached to you are going down. You're going to be turned on your head. Okay? You are. Watch. Watch. I promise it's coming. I promise it's coming. I promise you it's coming really with force. You're going to see it. If I was you, I'd just heal and worry about your fucking self. I wouldn't give no more second choices. I'd voice up and say, I don't want you. I'm the rock. I've, I've built my own soul family. I don't need your ass. I've done activated and I'm transcending this horse shit. I don't want it no more. That's what I'd say, okay? <laughs> That's what I'd say, just like that. Oh, that collective, but I mean... You know, you got free will. I'm not telling y'all what to do. Okay? You gotta learn what to do yourself. 